Hi, my name is Bob Dittmer and welcome to Explorations in Public Relations. In this series of short video presentations, we explore and illuminate the practice and the profession of public relations. And today our topic is University External Relations or University Media Relations. We're at IUPUI, that's Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, and our guest today is the Director of Media Relations for that institution, Rich Snyder. Rich, thank you for joining us today. I'm glad to be here. Well, let me, let me just ask the obvious question. You do media relations for the university. What does that entail? What kinds of things do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, it's essentially, um, it involves telling the story of IUPUI. Um, I've been here a little over 10 years, and in that time, the purpose of these stories is to reinforce that this is a first-class, indeed a world-class institution, and we do that by focusing on the main activities on campus. And those are teaching and learning, research and creative activity, and civic engagement. And I would guess, uh, because this is a university, uh, I, I think 30,000 is the usual number we use right. for this campus, uh, that's a lot of folks, and that just talks about the, the student population. We also have the faculty population and the staff population. So, uh, like they used to say about New York, there are a million stories in the naked city. That must give you an awful lot to share with the general public about what happens on this, this campus. It does. I mean, uh, as uh, folks in public relations know, uh, much of our work is, is guided by an overall theme. And mm -hmm. the theme mm -hmm. of IUPUI this year and for the last couple of years ha has been IUPUI where impact happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we are looking to underscore that theme in the stories we uh, we put out ab about the campus. Now, um, with that kind of theme, you also have something else that's relatively unique about this campus, and that is it's not a heavily residential campus. Rather, it's a, it's a, a commuter campus, an urban commuter campus, as opposed to the traditional residential campus where most people live on campus. That's not true here, is it? And, and what kind of difference does that make in, in how you represent the university to the media? Well. Um, <laughs> what it means is that uh, uh, for the last several years, for example, annually, we get a big parking story at the beginning of the school mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. where uh, there's this fear that no one, uh, there, there won't be room for everybody to park uh, because we have lots of folks uh, arrive for the first time right. and they're kind of scooting around. This year went uh, pretty well and parking is always tight at any university, and this, this IUPUI is no exception. But it, that, that's true. Um, I think the goal of IUPUI is one day to have about 10% of its student body living on campus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we have, uh, right now, we're not, any, we're not even close to, to that goal, so there are a, small, a relatively small number that live on campus that will grow over time. And so uh, people know that. And, and initially, when I came here 10 years ago, that was seen as a, a negative. Mm -hmm. That if you chose mm -hmm. to come to a community campus that was something less than going to a traditional campus, that there were the things that happen to a traditional campus don't happen here. Well, it turns out not to be true. Mm -hmm. we, this campus has hundreds of clubs. It has, it has all uh, the kinds of activities here for students that they can do just about anywhere. So part of what we, uh, we try to get across um, is that this campus offers students and their families what they want. And of course the other difference, I think I alluded to it, is that we're an urban campus in the sense that the campus is literally right downtown here in Indianapolis, as opposed to many of the residential right. campuses of state universities that are out in the, in the sticks somewhere in a college town. That's not true with this campus. And how does that change uh, what you ha face in your interactions with uh, media that serve this particular urban area? Well, I, I mean, it uh, has a big impact in, in that the stories that uh, we believe the media is most interested in are stories not so much about what's just going on campus, mm -hmm. 
but stories about what's going on campus that affects the lives of people who live in Indianapolis and surrounding areas. And this campus is engaged in uh, a lot of activities under this kind of broad rubric of civic engagement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, from having uh, people involved in IPS schools to all sorts of partnerships and collaborations uh, throughout the community. Uh, IUPUI is part of Indianapolis. Uh, we Courses here are developed to enhance the economy of Indianapolis and central Indiana. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, the Purdue School of Engineering and Technology here developed a motorsports mm -hmm. pro engineering program, the first yeah. Uh, first in the nation. Basically. First in the nation, we believe, to uh, support the motorsports industry. So, being part of a, a urban area, doing a lot of research, doing um, that, you know, it's another area. Uh, life sciences is uh, kind of in Indianapolis hopes to make that its bread and butter in the years to come. Indeed, we have the medical school, we right. have the dental school. And so, we, we try to, uh, with a lot of the stories, make sure people are aware of that connection between this campus, what happens in Indianapolis in terms of the economy, mm -hmm. and other aspects of people's lives. Any, uh, any other unique challenges that come to you as, a, as, as the media relations guy for a campus like this that are, that are unusual and different? Well, uh, one of the, uh, the challenges is that the TV stations are about 30 seconds away. <laughs> <laughs> they are, aren't they? That's right. So, right up the street here. So uh, there's very little time um, uh, uh, to uh, prepare for them. If something happens here, that they, if there's been an accident or a fire of any kind, they're on the scene in, uh, in minutes or less. Or less. Uh, they, that's the, the kind of, the, if you will, the bad part. But the good part of it is here, they can be here in 30 seconds to do an interview about something about that illustrates looking for an expert. Mm -hmm. Oh, good point. Um, you know, with the, um, right now at the State House, there are hundreds and hundreds of, of union workers mm -hmm. uh, working uh, to prevent passage of a law they think will hurt their futures. Well, we have professors on campus that the, the media, because they're close, uh, turn to and ask for help in explaining what's going on. So it is a real benefit. Folks in our labor studies program, right. folks in our school of business right. who can reflect on this from an objective point of view rather than someone who has a, a stake in the outcome. Truly the, the reason reporters most frequently call is looking for an expert mm -hmm. to explain something that, they're, that they have to report on. Right. We're close where ease they can get here, yeah. they can do a quick interview and be out in 20 minutes or less. Do you actively pursue those kinds of connections? We do, with the we community? do. Yeah. We'll put out uh, tip sheets, we, um, we work the phones when they call. Um, uh, the internet and social media are wonderful things, but local media tend to, if they need to find an expert, mm -hmm. they'll pick up the phone. They pick they? up the phone yeah. and call and say, you've got somebody he can talk about. Right, right. And we um, usually do. So, um, Rich, this year, what's been your big story? Well, as always, it's, you know, it's the growth of um, the campus. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, that it's one of the, the main things that we look for is uh, when the college rankings come out. The overall rankings are difficult for a university to move much in. I'm sure that's and It will true. always be a challenge for a campus like IUPUI, but a new ranking that ranks colleges that are on the move to the colleges as they, the magazine phrases it, campuses to watch, mm -hmm. we're now ranked fifth on that, that listing. So we look for things, uh, the big stories are things that illustrate um, the, the strengths that this campus has to offer. Um, it is uh, we've created like an honors college, which for the very top-notch students around um, Indiana and the country, um, when I when I was applying, the thought of being admitted to an uh, honors college wasn't a possibility. <laughs> but for it, it, it provides students with with uh, special opportunities, mm -hmm. and so we're all about attracting uh, and and showcasing 
the talent, talent of students, talent of faculty, and talent of staff that work at this campus. I just heard most of your messages being delivered there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it uh, must be exciting times. It is. You enjoy um, the work? Uh, it's it's, uh, it's fast-paced. There's always a lot to do. Um, there are lots of interesting things that go on on a college campus, and some of them are newsworthy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. And you get to deal with, work with, interact with so many different very interesting people, don't you? It is. I mean, we have from people who are studying uh, uh, glacier melt in the Arctic mm -hmm. to um, uh, lead contamination in backyard gardens. I mean, there's just a, a lot of research, a lot of interesting things that impact, you know, just the, every, the average Joe or Jane's right. life. Right. And we have a and and so we enjoy telling those stories. And along the way, we have thirty thousand young people who are preparing for their future. And that's, that's right. That's pretty exciting too, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Rich, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here. And thank you for joining us today in our discussion of university media relations. We've been talking with Rich Snyder from IUPUI, Indiana, Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis. I even have trouble with that one. Um, but do join us in the future as we explore more aspects of this practice and this profession of public relations. Thanks for joining us.